Factoring quadratics with a common factor. This is a Khan Academy tutorial. I am Mr. West. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to say there's tons of videos, uh, sorry, tons of exercises on Khan Academy about factoring. So uh, I've made plenty of videos on this. If you need further explanation, go ahead and check out, go ahead and search factoring or quadratics or perfect square trinomials or differences squares, something like that. But this is just another example. I'm going to go kind of quick. Um, if you need, again, further explanation, go check out some of my other videos, but I'll, I'll do my best to explain it here as well. Now, first thing I notice, first I have three terms, it's a trinomial, and I also notice that the coefficients are all divisible by two. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna factor out that, oop, that's ugly, I'm gonna factor out that two, and I'm left with x squared minus nine x plus 18. How did I get that? I divided each one of these by two, okay? now. Uh, what do I do from here? Well, I'm going to, uh, ooh, this is just factoring, okay? So I'm gonna leave that two out in front, and now I'm gonna set up my parentheses for factoring. Boom, 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 boom. I need to move this perfect, uh, was this perfect? No, I need to move this trinomial into two parentheses. How do I do, do that? I put the first terms factors there. Well, there's only one, uh, pair of factors that give you x squared, and that's x and x. Then I'm going to get my second one here. Okay, so I need to think of the factors of 18 that will also add up to negative 9. Okay, they need to have a sum of negative 9, but be factors of 18. So they multiply together, give me 18, but be factors of negative 9. Well, the, the key to this is, if this is positive, that means both these signs need to match. They need to be the same. Uh, in those parentheses. And if this is negative, that means they both need to be negative. So this needs to be a negative, and this needs to be a negative. And that's how I determine that. Next up, it's 18, okay? What uh, number, what factors of 18 will add up to negative nine? Well, I, need to, I know they both need to be negative, okay? So let me just list a few. We have negative, man, not the eraser. We have negative nine, negative two. Those add up to negative 11, that's no good. Negative 18, negative one, those add up to uh, negative 19, that's no good. What about negative six, negative three? Ding, 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 ding. We have negative six, negative three, gives us a sum of negative nine. It multiplies together to give us 18. So there we have it. We have negative six, negative three. I'm counting this negative, uh, that minus as my negative. So I have two times the quantity x minus three times the quantity x minus six. So let me go ahead and write that. Two times the quantity x minus three times the quantity x minus six. Oops, make sure you put it in parentheses. That is drastically different if you do not put it in parentheses. And check it. Nice, next question. Okay, so look here, we also have a seven as a factor for all of these. Boom, 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 they all have the seven, put the seven out front, step one. Step two, okay, well first we should probably should have done this first. I'm so sorry. Let me get rid of this parenthesis. Okay. What do we have left? We have x. Man, that eraser bothers me. x squared plus uh, divided by 7, 4x divided by 7. Was that minus? Yeah, that's a minus 5. Okay, 7 times 5. Okay, got it. Now I'm going to put my two parentheses. Boom, 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 boom. Don't forget your 7. Okay, first one. This was going to be easy because we have x and x, coefficient of 1s. I like those. They make it a lot easier. Okay, now we have... Check this out. We have a negative for the third time, for the third term. That means one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative because positive times negative gives us a negative. But this term is positive. That means our bigger factor needs to be positive. So our bigger factor is going to be here. This is going to be where our bigger one goes because the positive wins the sum battle. Remember, we add the inside and outside terms together, boom, to get us our middle term, okay? So if it's positive, that means it needs to be positive in the end, so our bigger one needs to be positive, okay? Pause this. Okay, unpause. All right, then I'm gonna erase it. So a bigger one needs to be positive. I hope we get that. Now, negative, eraser, man, that bothers me. So negative five is our term here. Remember, we only want, we don't want negative, <laughs> we don't want negative five and one. Why? Because our bigger one's negative, that's no good. So we're trying positive five, negative one, I think that's it. 
That's the only factors of five I can think of. So we're going to put negative one there, positive five there, and we're done. That's that's how we factored this one, okay? And we can check that if you're like lost on how I did that so fast. Check this out. As we FOIL, okay, we get first times, uh, first times first. Sorry, let me erase this. We get, man, the colors. X squared. Where's the X squared? I just had it. Ah, there we go. Eraser. My goodness. X squared minus 1x plus 5x minus 5, okay? Notice how we only combine the middle terms, so we get 4x when we do that. That's validation that we got that middle term. So that's just an ex explanation of why. So now we're going to uh, type it in. 7 times x plus 5, x minus 1. 7 times x plus 5, x minus 1. Parentheses, check it. All right, next question. Another factor of 7. Let's go ahead and factor this out. I'm going to do this one quicker now. So we have 7x plus 5x plus 6. 7. And then we're going to have x and x. Okay. And then we think of factors of 6 that add up to 5. That's 3 and 2. Both of them are positive because everything seems positive. Then we're done with that one. 7 times. Again, if, you, if I went too fast, go ahead and pause it. Rewind. All that stuff. When I put x plus uh, 2 and then x plus 3. Was that right? I think that's correct. I'm going to just change that. There we go. I was right. All right. Ooh, very important point here. Notice how our leading coefficient of x squared is negative 3. I don't like that. So I'm going to factor out a negative 3. Really don't like it when that first term is uh, negative. So I'm going to factor out negative 3, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, that's what happens when I factor out the negative 3. But the x squared being positive is super important to me. So I have negative 3, and I'll put my parentheses here, okay? And I'll put x and x, as always. That's why I like it, okay? Now I think, okay, negative, so the signs are different. One's plus, one's minus. This middle term's negative, so the bigger number needs to be negative. What are my factors of negative 3? Only 3 and 1. So the bigger one needs to be negative, the smaller one positive. Uh, and that will give me a, if I check my answer, doing only the inside and outside terms i get one x plus a negative three x and that gives me negative two x so that's where that comes from so negative three times x plus one times x minus three negative three times x plus one times x minus three i think that's right I'll check it chance it there we go 100 percent. i know you'll be hearing that sound thanks for watching check out some of my other videos i appreciate you guys